Hi everyone, this is Nat from Studio Hacks. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can make a screen recording on your iPhone. You can also record your voice or you can choose just to have the audio from your iPhone playing in your screen recording. I'll show you how to do it both ways. You can use the inbuilt microphone on your iPhone to record your voice, or you can also plug in a headset. So just the standard uh, headphones that come with the iPhone. This will also work on any other iOS device running the operating system iOS 11 or above. So basically you just need to access your control center to make a screen recording by swiping up on an iPhone. I think on an iPad, it's the top right hand corner you swipe down from. You'll notice that there are a number of icons down the bottom of the screen there. And we can customize what appears here by going to our system uh, settings on the iPhone. So I'm going to select my settings right here. And then you want to go down. I'm actually running iOS 13 on this one. So, but all you need to do is find your control center. So that's what that little, when you swipe up, you're seeing in the control center. And then you need to customize the controls. And it currently shows you everything you've got on there. Um, so you can, you know, remove things if you don't want them. Um, so I can access anything I want from there, but we have to scroll down and what you, what we're looking for is screen recording. We want to add screen recording by hitting the little plus right here. And then we'll find that when we swipe up, we're now going to see this new icon here, this little record button. Now it's grayed out on my phone at the moment because I'm tethered to the Mac and screen casting directly to the Mac. But I do have a little video that I recorded just before demonstrating basically how this works. So when you want to make a screen recording, you simply swipe up and then you tap it and it will count down and then start recording. Now it's recording and when you tap it again to stop the recording and then it will tell you that the screen recording, so it's a video file is saved to your photos app. Now, what I normally do, you can tap it to turn the microphone on and that will enable you to record your voice either through the microphone on the iPhone or if you have the headset plugged in, it will record it on the little headset. I sometimes make screencasts of myself uh, using the app GarageBand. So I can turn it on the side there. And normally I get into the app I want to record first and then make sure that countdown is so you can get just, you know, a clean start to your video. It's currently recording now in this instance. And when you want to finish that recording, um, you're simply going to swipe up again and then tap that. And then it will have saved that to your phone's app. So that's how you do it. Um, it's pretty simple. And then I'll just switch back to my iPhone here. Any screen recordings you've made will end up in your videos. So there's this screen recording that I've just made uh, there on. And if I play that, you'll see that it's it's just the screen. And if I had recorded my voice with that, uh, you would be hearing my voice. Now, that you, once you've got this video file, you can um, change the length of it. Um, you can pinch in. You can do this straight from the iPhone. Um, if you just want to cut off the start or the finish, you can actually trim like that and do some very basic video editing like directly on your iPhone. So see how it's got at the end there. It was screen capturing when I swiped up. I can chop that off if I want. And then when I click done, it's going to you can save it as a new video clip or you can destructively save the uh, video that you had there. You can actually add some rudimentary effects, some filters and things like that to the video from there. I tend to use iMovie uh, when I'm doing um, any kind of video editing uh, right there on the iPhone. It just gives you a lot more options. Um, but once you've got that video file, you can then send it to your Mac via AirDrop or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to make a screen recording on your iPhone. And if you found this content valuable, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions regarding this video, make sure you do leave a comment and I will get back to you. And I'll see you in the next video.